Hi, this is Ashish from Technospot.net and today I will do a review of the recent uh, messenger app that came in Facebook and it's, I've already tested it but I'll show you how to install it completely. So uh, what you need to do is uh, go to market and start mm -hmm. checking out the Facebook messenger and there you go if you are able to see in your market maybe it's not rolled out because a couple of days back even i was not able to see so I just install it download is going back it's around 3.8 or 3.9 mb so might take some time depending especially if you're on nice network well, this app is basically a direct competition to the i missing i not i i message app that is coming in ios in 5.0 version and probably what now people are going ahead is with a replacement of sms which is i mean it's already there it's just making it more obvious Okay, so what this it's getting installed. And it can be moved to your USB storage device. That's what this app USD is doing, but we'll see it later. So I'll check on Facebook Messenger. Good thing is it will automatically log you in if you are already signed into your Facebook. That's very neat about it. What I was thinking it might not do it but no it's doing it. And if you want, if you are not that you can sign out but I am not sure whether it will sign you out of the Facebook also or not. So I just press continue. So it again logs you in basically. It just detects whether you are already logged in or not. So at least uh, asking for credentials are gone. So now you will be able to see all your messages. It should load in a bit of time. Yeah. So this is the messenger. Now start a new conversation with friends or contacts. So let me just press this one. And let me Die. Okay, there's no auto complete. I'm surprised now. Why there is no auto complete? Okay, that's all. Maybe it will take. We'll, we'll come back to this later. Maybe it's still doing something. So let's check at the menu options. Uh, we have settings, refresh, new message, about, and all stuff. Let's go to settings. So look, you can set notification on, or maybe something else. We have Facebook pop. You can do that. Location is on. So in advance, clear image cache, clear conversation cache. Maybe if you want to reload. Um, that's about it. So let's go back. Uh, I'm not sure why you have location stuff here. Maybe you tell your friends where you are, but. It's going to consume a lot of battery if you're using it for Android. Okay, let me see if it did load. Um, uh, okay, so it, it took a bit of time to get your contact list on this and that's why you had a problem. Now, you can start a conversation on any of this mobile and or possible Facebook message. So, let me see if we can do that. Let me see. Is now let me see this. 
message is this autocomplete feature is really nice, but uh, I think it's the other app which is really good. Send and it's going to cost me because I've chosen a number here. What will be interesting is to see if somebody replies me. Uh, I read it out to his online right now. Um, alerts on, alerts off, off for one hour, alerts off until 8 a.m. Okay, this is really a nice feature where you can, uh, you know, set like what are things you want like if you want to turn off alert for a particular person you can do that that's very nice like for how many people are there in this conversation um, i guess it will show location of all the people so that that is what is required for the messenger service to know, know the location so you know where your friends are so if you are waiting for someone and if you are chatting you get to know where you are so that's the conversation stuff and nothing else I guess. And if I want I can create group conversations, okay. But there is no option it is right me to change the SMS uh, from Facebook message if I want to change it to default SMS. I guess that is not possible. So we need to start a new conversation. So switching back and forth should have been one of the options in case uh, somebody is out of uh, data coverage area at least you can converse on sms that will be costly though so i guess that's about it. there's nothing more here friends so contacts Okay, it does load. It does load the messages from there also. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to be when somebody sends you a message. You will be able to see here. Uh, let me try. What I will do here is uh, I'll try to send a message to myself from another number. So and I'll try to send a message and that will say hi and 
Just turn it across and see when you receive it. Does it give me on the so I did receive the SMS but it doesn't work too well unless you send it okay. Okay, two notifications are up but not from Messenger itself. So if I go to Messenger now. No, it is not accessing um, the default SMS system then. It's only uh, when you start a conversation from here and you go there, it works out. So if I go to my SMS system and say hi. Okay, it didn't work in that way. Um, okay, it didn't work that way. The Facebook doesn't replace your SMS system at least. I'd have loved it if, since it's already able to pull it up from contacts, but uh, it's not. It's not doing that way. So that's the Facebook Messenger. That's over our view, a general view. Uh, though it's not replacing your SMS system, but if you're online all the time and you can keep talking to the same way SMS does, the only drawback is not able to switch from the Facebook message system to any of the default message system. So at least I can see if it's from the same person. Uh, it doesn't work that way. So that's the Facebook Messenger app and I'll write more about it in the post. Thanks for watching.